Who wants some free hi-fi gear? I know you do. Today, we're giving away the dragonflies. Dragonfly red, dragonfly black, dragonfly blue, cobalt. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's see who gets a free dongle deck. I want to send a big thank you to AudioQuest. It was their idea to send me all of these very nice dongle dacks. They're for your headphones, then a computer, computer or headphones, or like a Raspberry Pi or something like that. AudioQuest came out with these a while ago and it kind of set the bar for what a dongle deck needs to be. A lot of other companies have kind of chased them and used similar DAC chips or the same DAC chips. Some are way better than others, but AudioQuest are all great. But first, we're gonna do a couple of unboxings and then we'll give these away one at a time. Something from Topping. Topping has gotten a lot better with their packaging. The packaging is quite nice. I don't know if that moves the needle for you. I don't really care, but it certainly gives a slightly more premium feel when you're unboxing Topping products. So this is the A90D. This is a discrete headphone amplifier. If you don't know what discrete means, it just means separate. So a lot of times headphone amplifiers are made off of op amps and things like that. There's nothing wrong with it. Actually, discrete parts were replaced with op amp style of, there's a little scratch on here, op amp style of construction because ease of use, but also because of performance. Op amps oftentimes outperform discrete parts like 20, 30 years ago. Now it's kind of, people can make discrete amplifiers components that sound fantastic. So I'm looking forward to listening to this. Looks like there's two balance connectors, XLR, and then as I'm assuming that's a Pentagon 4.4. On the front, you got kind of an old school scoreboard. That's gonna be cool. And then on the back, it looks like you have Balanced inputs, single-ended inputs, balanced out, single-ended out. So this could be used for a preamp of sorts. Also has a ground lift thing over here. Very cool. Usually for headphone amps, I'm a pretty big proponent of Schitt and Jashelli Labs, but topping makes good stuff. SMSL and topping both make good stuff. What is this? <laughs> remote control. Okay, so if this has a remote control, just a headphone amp, and a preamp, this could be a pretty cool product. I think it's coming in around $5.99 right now, which is expensive, but could be worth it. We'll find out soon. AudioQuest is a great company. I got a chance to talk to them in pretty in-depth at Cedia, which is a trade show. It's actually not trade show open to the public. It's a trade show that's open to people in the industry as far as like home theater, entertainment, things like that. I had a chance to sit down with them and listen to not only the dongle decks, but some of the cables. And I know this is very controversial because people think that either cables make a difference or don't make a difference. And there's not a lot of wiggle room in there. There's either one camp or the other. And the camp that thinks cables can make a difference and do make a difference don't really berate the other ones, but the people that think that cables don't make a difference and say, show me the science and all this stuff, they get really worked up about it. Either way, AudioQuest provides expensive cables, very expensive cables, but they also provide affordable cables. And that's a lot of, and somewhat affordable power banks, filters and things like that. I probably would never spend over a hundred dollars on a cable. But if it's a good quality cable, even sonic differences aside, I would probably still go ahead and spend maybe 30% more on a better built cable. And if it sounds better, then that's just a happy coincidence. AudioQuest does provide some affordable cables, HDMI, optical, things like that. And I use pretty much their entry level cables now, granted, some of them have been provided to me by AudioQuest, but others I have purchased on my own. So even though you may be on the fence about cables, still check out AudioQuest, I guess, entry-level cable, and then compare those to other cables just from a 
cost perspective. All right, who, who won the Dragonfly Black? Mike Hartley, you won the Dragonfly Black. I will reach out by email, not through the comments. There's going to be people in the comments saying that you won something. You have not. I'll email you that you won, and then I'll uh, send it to you. Second unboxing. I've got a big box to get. Loki M Plus. I think it's their upgraded Loki. Magni Plus. Yay! I think this is the one I've been looking forward to. Always close your knife, too. Not trying to be bossy. It's because I've cut myself. This is the one that I have been looking forward to since I went to the Austin show. This is the Lear headphone amp slash preamp. Even if it doesn't sound good, it looks so good with that big tube on here. I'll pr probably listen to it a lot, which is gonna be cool because I have the A90 and I think these come in around the same price. So it'll be a good comparison between the Lear and the A90. Actually built very similarly. This is single-ended only, which I don't really care about. So the A90 has a balanced and a single-ended connection, which I think you can switch between because there's a remote control. This has two single-ended, but guess what? It also has a remote control. So not only is this a headphone amp, it is also a preamp with a remote control. The winner of the Dragonfly Red Leonard Hendricks. Leonard Hendricks, you have won the Dragonfly Red. I will contact you via email. Do not look at the comments, anybody, because we are gonna have scam bots in there trying to scam you out of your hard earned money. But Leonard, I will send you an email and get this shipped out to you. Something from our friends over at Andover. Andover is a company out of the Boston area and they have a really long pedigree or long history with the audio industry. What's in here? Is the spin stage, which is a phono preamp and it looks like it has all the selectable yumminess on the back. I'm looking forward to this. I'm glad they're getting into traditional products because I know they have some really cool products like the spin base and the spin deck and all that stuff, spin sub. But it's cool that they're getting in. They also have a streamer, a Songbird streamer. It's cool that they got a phono preamp. And the winner for the Dragonfly Cobalt is... Barry Chiarello. You know, it's funny, it's two of these are going to California. So Barry, I will contact you via email. No one is going to win anything through the comments. If you've won, I will contact you all by email. And if somebody doesn't claim this for some reason, then I'll do another random draw. So I appreciate everybody signing up. Again, AudioQuest is a great company. They do sell expensive stuff, just like a lot of other companies, but they also sell what I would consider their entry level stuff. And I think that's a safe bet. So you should check them out. Anyway, if you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheap audio man. We have an awesome community, Facebook group, Discord group. We also have Zooms every Sunday night so we can get a little bit of face-to-face -face time. You can also sign up for Amazon Music, Tidal, or Rune. Links in the description. Click sign up. Even if you quit, I still get a couple of bucks. You can also use affiliate links to buy any product, and those are generally affiliate links. <laughs> Sometimes they're not. Which means you click and you buy, I get a commission, but it doesn't cost you anymore, so it's a great way to support the channel. You can also use the thanks button. Buy me a cup of coffee or buy this coffee mug through the links below. I know. Lots of ways to support me. Don't feel compelled to buy anything, though. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge listen. We're going to do some more giveaways, too. So make sure you're watching the videos and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.